Hello everyone. So I am back with a creative video this time and it's not a card making video. Um, this month's creative challenge for the My Favorite Things design team was to use their felt. And I kind of stumbled on it with not feeling very creative at all. But then I remembered that I had been wanting to do this for months and that was to create fun little felt hair clips for my kids. I've been meaning to do it and then just never got around to it. So this finally gave me the excuse. So I'm using um, My Favorite Things felt in several different colors. I'm starting off with the red hot here. And I'm using the large rolled rose dynamics and running it through my big shot. And the one thing I love about using these dyes and felt is like it cuts through the felt like nothing. I've never had a problem with it. Um, the big shot is kind of part of it. I've never had an issue um, when I had my other die cut machine I used to have troubles with felt but this stuff just cuts like a dream so I just ran it through twice and with this specific die this large rolled rose it's partially connected at the one end so you just snip it with scissors and I die cut two of each because I was going to make pairs of hair clips and the package of hair clips I had had six in it so I decided to do everything at once and I would just do several little sets in different colors so I did um, red hot with the large rolled rose and then I ran the, the large royal rose dye through with the um, Razzleberry felt, which is like one of my favorites. I love this like hot pink. And this, this one's a little bit more intricate, but again, cut like no problem. So super, super easy. I didn't need to use any shims or anything. I'm using the magnetic platform. And then just my cutting plates, the dyes, the felt, that's it. So did all that. And then now I'm doing, this is the hybrid um, camellia flower. This one's a little bit different. Um, you run the center through once and then these two different petal pieces, you need two pieces of each. So you run those through twice and then I'll show in a minute how you put it together. But this one I did with blue raspberry felt. So once I was done all of my die cutting, I'm going to start assembling these and it's super, super easy. I just use um, tweezers. These special pointy crazy ones are they're just from Sizzix I got them in a pack like it was actually a flower um pack but any tweezers really are gonna work just ones that have kind of a finer point it just helps to sort of hold on to the felt while you roll it and that's all you do you just roll it all up and then with these dies at the very end of the roll there's kind of a funny little shape piece and that's what you use to adhere so I'm using my go-to favorite of course which is hot glue and you just got to be careful <laughs> you don't get hot glue on your fingers and burn yourself but I just apply it quite a generous amount on that little end piece and then press it in really well to into the felt and it holds it perfectly so I fiddle with it a bit just to kind of get it in the shape I want and that's all there is to it so super super simple so I got my two rolled roses done and then the um, large royal rose is even easier because it's got a flat bottom to the petals here so it's a lot easier to roll it all up so quickly got it all rolled and then same thing just apply hot glue to the end piece and then press it into um, the bottom of the roll so that it holds everything in place and then again do that twice so then I've got two little red roses and then two razzleberry colored royal roses with the fun little like frilled edges to the petals and then I'm going to work on these little camellia flowers so again it's really super simple you just need the two um, triple petal pieces two of these kind of bow tie shaped pieces and then one center piece and you just adhere the two triple petal pieces together first and it's designed so that the petals can kind of interlock so you can either leave them as is or you can interlock you can kind of do whatever you want they're flowers that's one thing I love about flowers is you kind of have some leeway to just be creative. <laughs> so once I adhere those, I'm going to adhere these two little bow tie shaped pieces. So it's the next layer of petals. You can see it coming together here. And then finally, you just roll together the center piece just like I did with the other two flowers. So really quick and simple. And again, it's got like the flat bottom along it. So it's really easy to roll up. And then this one, you just need to be a little careful because it's like got such a small end. Again, not to get hot glue all over yourself, but this is always my preferred method for adhering like felt and die cut felt pieces and everything because the hot glue just holds it and you know, it dries quickly, like cools off quickly and then you're good to go. So once I got that little center all adhered, I'm going to adhere that to the rest of the flower and then I've got this fabulous little camellia flower. 
and you could get creative if you want and use like different colors of felt you know different shades of blue or whatever pink orange who cares um but yeah i just kept them all one color but for the leaves which i did off camera just because i had to die cut i did a dozen of each set of leaves like all together and I'm using the MFT layered leaves dies and I had originally was only going to use just the bases and then I thought I would try to die cut the outlines as well and it worked. You just have to be really careful because it is felt and it's somewhat fragile with such fine die cut details but I was able to make it work so it just gave it that extra punch. So I did a darker green for the base and then a lighter green felt for the outline. And then just to adhere them, I just added tiny dabs of hot glue along the stem and then at the very tip and left the rest because otherwise you'd be adhering forever. And I didn't see the need to add enough adhesive. Once I get everything adhered together, they'll be held together just fabulously. So I figured out which leaves I wanted for which set of flowers. And again, you could leave this if you want and just do just the flowers for the clips. But I thought the leaves would just add a little extra something and, you know, flowers and leaves are really cute. So adhered, um, I used the largest pair of leaves for the camellia flowers since they were the largest flowers and just adhered them kind of offset there with the hot glue and then added a good dollop of hot glue to adhere the flower to it so that everything is really good and stuck together. So and then I did um, two different shape leaves. I did the smaller and the medium for the other two flowers. And then these are just your basic normal um, snap clips. These are the only ones I could find locally. So the Goody Blonde Collection, which is perfect because I made them for Caitlin and her hair is kind of, it's kind of a brownie color, but same thing. Um, you can also get like probably at dollar stores and that like massive amounts of hair clips. Like I paid way too much for these, but I couldn't find any and I couldn't get to the dollar store. It's too far from here. <laughs> but uh, if you like no matter what they're inexpensive and to make these it's such an inexpensive little gift like yeah if you got the clips at the dollar store and then these packages of felt from MFT you'd be able to make tons of these die cut flowers and leaves like tons because they don't take that much felt so and then in the end it's just the time to put them together and even that didn't take very long so again I put dollops of glue on the ends of the clips to adhere them if you wanted you could sew them that would work even better but since I had the hot glue out, I did that and it's held together perfectly. And yeah, as always, there will be links below to my blog post with um, links to all the supplies used. And here's my little 18 month old model. Trying to get her to sit still for three different hair clips was nearly impossible, but they turned out really cute and she loves them. So it made my day. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.